All right, so this is my literature review on COVID vaccinations and their relationship to neurological complications. Um, and there are a few studies out there. And again, this is an ongoing process. We're getting case reports, you know, by the month that are new. So we'll continue to update you on what we've, what we've come up with. But the current review right now that I can see, I've got a couple of papers here. One, this one's out of Austria, which suggests that there can be an incidence of stroke after the vaccine. Um, I'm not convinced by this article at all. Not, and nothing I've seen in the literature suggests that the incidence of stroke is elevated with the vaccine. So I'm, I'm saying that this is not a convincing article and I would not pay attention to it. Uh, there is uh, an incidence of Guillain-Barre. There are two incidents, two reported incidents here. And this is a legitimate uh, uh, publication that uh, comes to us through uh, Dr. Goss. And this is out of Houston, Texas Department of Neurology and it suggests that Guillain-Barre is a, a rare complication from the vaccination. And then lastly, there's one paper out of Singapore, which reports an episode of trigeminal neuralgia, as well as cervical radiculopathy, or radiating neck and arm pain. So this is a patient that had, within several hours of the vaccination, they developed immediate onset of severe lancinating facial pain, and also arm pain, radiation from the neck down into the arm. Now, this, this lasted for a period of several days, but fortunately, over um, the course of um, um, several days as this patient uh, recovered, the symptoms went completely away over a course of about five days. So, yes, it's possible that a vaccine could trigger some type of immunological or neurological reaction to flare up trigeminal neuralgia in somebody. This was a person who didn't have, did not have trigeminal neuralgia, but certainly if you have trigeminal neuralgia, there is a chance that that vaccine could do that, but it appears to be temporary, and certainly the protective effects of the vaccine far outweigh any risks related to causing any kind of prolonged trigeminal neuralgia um, uh, episode. So I would still tell my patients with trigeminal neuralgia, get the vaccine, it works, it protects you from being hospitalized, it protects you from neurological complications related to the virus, which are much higher incidence than related, uh, some associated relations with the vaccine, and it's safe and effective. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your doctor who's taking care of you for trigeminal neuralgia. My vote is go with the vaccine, and there's a small risk that you may have a slight flare-up, and it's very rare, and it resolves several days after the vaccination.